Learning objective include requirement for bacterial growth, classification of bacteria based on temperature requirements, and food preservation temperature. For the bacteria to grow, there are certain requirements that we must meet. And those requirements could be broadly divided into physical requirements and chemical requirements. Under physical requirement, temperature, pH, and osmotic pressures are. And for chemicals, bacteria need a source of carbon and a source of nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, and oxygen. Similarly, there should be trace elements also. And then growth factors are also required. And as any living organism requires growth factors, especially for the metabolic pathways, so bacteria also needs growth factors. Bacteria could be divided or grouped um, based on their temperature requirements for the growth. Those that love cold environment to grow, they're called psychrophiles or psychrophilic bacteria. Psychro means cold and phile or philic mean to love. So they basically love cold temperature or cold environment. These psychrophiles, um, as we would go further, we will see that there is another small group we have added um, just in a short while. But just keep that psychrophiles... Uh, they like to grow under cold conditions and best temperature for their um, optimal growth is 15 degrees Celsius. Second group is mesophiles. Meso means in the middle. Uh, file means so these bacteria they like to grow optimally or best between 25 and 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, their best growth could be achieved at 37, roughly. Then the third group includes those that grow at higher temperature. And the range of temperature that they like is 50 to 60 Celsius. But they're very important in uh, organic compost. Uh, the organic matter, the waste matter from the animal uh, like dung, fecal material, dead animals, uh, plants, all those could be degraded by these bacteria at 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. And when these organic compounds are uh, decomposed or degraded by these bacteria, they, need, they uh, generate a lot of heat. And that heat basically can kill other pathogenic or kind of mesophilic bacteria. So this is Composting is really a useful activity, uh, an environmental friendly activity. So these bacteria really help us a lot in cleaning our environment. As I mentioned earlier, that every group has a minimum growth temperature, and which include um, optimum growth temperature, maximum growth temperature, and minimum growth temperature. Um, the range between, if you look at the range between a minimum growth temp temperature requirement and a maximum, uh, the range basically is uh, roughly about 30 degrees Celsius. You can appreciate that range here. Like, these are psychrophiles. And as you can see, the optimum temperature or the best temperature for the growth, at, as you can see that the growth start from here, as the temperature rises, uh, the growth becomes more and more. Until there is a a maximum temperature of growth, which we call optimum at this time here, which is about you know 15 uh, degrees Celsius. And then as the temperature increases, growth decreases. So there is a, a minimum growth temperature requirement, there's a maximum growth temperature requirement, and then there's a best growth temperature requirement. So at this, this is called optimum. Similarly, as I mentioned earlier, that there is a, a, another division in, in psychrophiles. These is called a psychrotrophs. These bacteria, although they can grow at lower temperature, but their growth is uh, best between uh, 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. This is the mesophiles that we talked about. That they fall in the middle of the temperature scale. And then there's a thermophile. And then 
There is another category of uh, bacteria that like to grow at even boiling temperature. So the bacteria that are in the hot spring, they uh, like to grow close to 80 degree, 80, 90 degrees Celsius, and they are called hyperthermophiles or hyperthermophilic bacteria. As I mentioned earlier, cyclotrophs, uh, they grow best at 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, and this is a, a, a real life situation here, that when you store uh, your food in the fridge, and many people think that this is safe, uh, it's really not safe. They can still grow, the, the, these cyclotrophiles, they still can grow uh, I mean, this 20 to 30 degrees Celsius is, is the best temperature that they grow, but they can also grow at de zero degrees Celsius too. So uh, don't be fooled by this temperature. The cyclotrophs can grow at zero degrees Celsius. Also, um, four degree, which is the refrigeration temperature, is about four to eight degrees. So they, they can really grow very well there. So they can spoil food. Hyperthermophiles, um, as I mentioned, the, the optimum temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. These are archaea in nature, uh, found in hot springs. And the usefulness of these bacteria is that uh, there is a there is a, a, an enzyme DNA polymerase that is uh, used in PCR reactions, polymerase chain reaction. And that enzyme was taken from one of these bacteria. Uh, the, the name of the bacterium was Thermus aquaticus. The temperature we can use for preserving our food, as you can see, this is the temperature above 60 degree is good for food preservation. Bacteria don't grow. Mesophilic bacteria, especially those that are, that are pathogenic, they range, you know, in this, they fall in this category, in this range here. So if you use the temperature, keep your food below 5 degrees Celsius or above 60 degrees Celsius. This zone, above this and below this is a safe zone. And this is a danger uh, zone where bacteria can grow and spoil the food. So in summary, um, there are physical requirements. Uh, we will talk about them in you know, just in a minute, but they were pH, osmotic pressure, and chemical requirements like in every uh, organism would require carbon source, nitrogen source, source, phosphorus source, etc. And then we saw that uh, based on their temperature uh, requirement, we can classify them into various groups. And food can be preserved at a temperature that uh, discourages their growth, especially above 60 degrees Celsius or below 5 degrees Celsius.